Thank you for watching my update video. Um, I've made this video because my last one was a little bit out of date now. Some of the stuff I've shared on there is uh, things have moved forward. Um, so I thought I'd do a new one just purely just to update you guys on where I am and how my uh, prep for Race of the Stones 2019 is going. So as you know, I've entered into Race of the Stones 2019, which is probably one of the reasons you're watching this video. Race of the Stones itself is 62 miles long across two days. 30 plus miles day one, 30 plus miles day two, to achieve the end goal of reaching the finish line. In between those two days is base camp, I'm staying overnight, staying in a tent, it's classed as an ultra marathon, I'm not running it, I'm walking it, and I'm doing it for charity. I'm raising as much money as I can, I'm making as much awareness as I can for the causes that I'm doing it for. So this video is a bit of an update about where I am and, uh, and, and how I'm getting on. I've got 36 days until the race starts. 36 days from the moment I upload this video. So if you're watching this video a week, a few days, two weeks after I've uploaded it, then obviously I've got a lot shorter time span until I kick off Race of the Stones. I'm doing this for two main reasons. The first reason I'm doing this is to help a friend. A friend at work who inspired me and I asked him to, to, to give me a name of, uh, of a charity to which I can raise some money to help him. It's a very small charity, it's Leukemia UK, uh, is the name of the charity, and this charity is directly helping him, his family, and uh, many families across the UK. They're a great charity. I've been in contact with the CEO of the charity, and she's been incredibly supportive of what I'm doing. Uh, of course, I'm not raising millions and millions, but every little helps, I'm sure you'll agree. And you know they are very, very grateful for even the smallest of donations. The second reason I'm doing this challenge is for a personal reason. Uh, I, I am trying to make some major lifestyle changes. I'm doing it because I know that with there being something at the end to aim for, I've got more chance of succeeding. I'm trying to lose as much weight as I can, I'm trying to get as fit as I can, and I'm doing it for personal reasons, like we all do. We all want to get fitter and healthier. Um, I'm reaching a time in my life where I need to start thinking about that, and I want to make some differences and some changes in my life. Race of the Stones gives me something to aim for, something to look forward to. It's only a month away and I'm getting very, very nervous about it and I'm anticipating it uh, an awful lot. So I'm really looking forward to it. One of the things that I wanted to talk about is I've got a list of items that I've had to purchase because of Race to the Stones. We've been given a, a checklist of things. Now I've, I've followed many social media accounts and I'm following a lot of people, ultra marathon runners, who do this day in, day out and do it often and regular. So this list is coming from the best possible sources. And I thought I'd share some with you. Uh, I think you'll agree, the more I'm carrying, the harder this challenge is gonna be. So I thought I'd share this because I found it amusing that all these items, some of which I have never heard of before, are things that I have, I've had to go out and buy uh, uh, for Race to the Stones. Um, I would like to put a caveat in that there are some items here that I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with as being something which I would need. Um, but I've bought it anyway because it was on a list from people who do this all the time. So what I bought is I bought lots of clothing. Uh, I've bought flip-flops, shorts, because it is gonna be very, very warm. It's in the middle of July. A walking t-shirt. I don't know what a walking t-shirt is and why it's any different to a normal t-shirt, but I've bought one. I've had to buy some nail scissors because apparently you need nail scissors on the course. I'm not sure what I'm cutting off, but I've bought some. I've bought blister plasters. I've used quite a lot of blister plasters already on my practice walks. They are good uh, and I've bought many of them. I've bought normal plasters as well because a blister plaster, if it's not enough, you put a plaster over the top of it as well. KT tape, again, something I'd never heard of. KT tape apparently is fantastic to help you with your feet. I've had to buy a sleeping bag for an overnight stay. Uh, I've had to buy a head torch. So I'm starting this at 8.30 in the morning. I wanna be at base camp before it gets dark in July. If I'm not at base camp and I'm using a head torch, something's gone fundamentally wrong, but I've bought it anyway. I've bought socks, special socks. You can't just wear normal socks. I learned that the hard way. I went out wearing the socks I wear to work for a 20 mile walk. When I got home, I, I, would, I would have happily have taken an amputation on my feet because of the pain the blisters were causing. So apparently that was because of the socks according to the Facebook page I'm following. So I've bought new walking socks. These walking socks are not cheap. They're 12 pound a pair uh, and, uh, uh, and they're extortionate. Trainers, 
Uh, so the trainers I've bought are special walking trainers, they're called trail trainers. Uh, how they're different to normal sports trainers, I don't know, but apparently they're gonna help me. And I've also had to buy a waterproof to carry because if it chucks it down, apparently we can't stand that undercover, we have to keep going. So I've had to buy glucose tablets. Again, I don't know what these are. Salt tablets, because apparently you lose a lot of salt up through sweat and you need to replace it. Electrolyte tablets, you lose electrolytes as well. I've had to buy an emergency blanket <laughs> I'm not sure what, of an, what kind of emergency I would be in to need a blanket to solve it, but I've bought an emergency blanket. I've had to buy a whistle. I've had to buy painkillers. I think I need them. I understand them. I bought two of them. Backpack to carry all this in. Uh, water bottles to go in the sides of my backpack because apparently it's not enough that you just get water at the pit stops. You're gonna need them in between, which makes sense. Um, sun cream so I don't get burnt and a power bank and lead so as I can charge all of this equipment and my phone and GPS and Garmin watch and I had to buy a Garmin watch as well uh, apparently it's not uh, acceptable to be looking at Google Maps uh, that's not the done thing so uh, I am now part of the ultra marathon um, walking running crew now that I've got a Garmin watch so those are the items that I've gone out and purchased um, how's it been going one of the questions I wrote here for the video that I wanted to update on is how it's been going. So it's been going quite well actually. Um, I'm about to upload another video which is my 30 mile attempt. Uh, I recommend going to watch that purely because the ending is not how I intended it to end. But I attempted my first 30 mile walk last weekend. Um, I'm gonna do another one this weekend. I've done a few 20 mile walks, done a few 10 mile walks. They've been going really well. Uh, when I first attempted 10 miles it was really tough. I can now kind of do 10 miles quite easily. You don't really get warmed up for the first six or seven miles anyway a sentence I never thought I'd say but it's uh, it's been it's been quite inspirational to 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 be able to complete some of this it's been very how can I describe this so completing some of these walks that I've been doing the exercises I've been doing some of the bike rides I've been doing the walks uh, being out with my family it's been it's been quite fulfilling um, it's not been easy and I've enjoyed it so uh, I just thought I'd say that just purely because you know, preparation isn't the fun bit uh, and when this ends, when, when Race of the Stones ends, I don't want this to stop, I want to continue this. I mentioned at the beginning as part of the introduction very very quickly one of the reasons I'm doing this secondary to raising as much money as I can is this is a personal challenge. Uh, I'm now at the three stone loss mark, so I've lost three stone now, almost exactly, um, and uh, and it's been nearly three months, so I'm actually ahead of my schedule to lose a stone a month. I wanna lose another stone before Race of the Stones, that would have mean since the moment I decided to do it, to the moment I actually start it, I'd have lost four stone. But I also, I also want to give something back. I mentioned it already as well, but you know, I'm doing this because I want to raise as much money as I can. I've got no influence, I can't raise awareness, but I can make a difference by giving some money to a charity that I know will use it very, very well. And I know that they have made a difference to a friend of mine, they've made a difference to his family, and I know they're making a difference to a lot of families out there. So if you have a fiver, a tenner, you can spare, I'd appreciate it. If you've watched it to this point, thank you. And I would say, if you would like to donate, I've left the link in the, in, in the box below. Um, and anything you give will be uh, greatly received. And uh, you know, you're more than welcome to contact me directly as well, um, which I would really, really appreciate. If you would like to subscribe, I've got more videos coming about this. I'm gonna film Race to the Stones. So please subscribe as well. So when I upload more videos, you will have the Race to the Stone video, which will be uploaded in approximately a month and a half. Um, after I finished it, I need time to edit it. But I'll also be uploading some more walking videos. I've got another walking video about to be uploaded, which is the 30 mile walk. We also have some family stuff on there as well, but I'd appreciate any support that you guys can give. Um, thank you if you've reached this point. Thank you for watching and wish me luck.